G-Technic Crystal Serum Light. This is a bottle I used just a few weeks ago on my wheels, HREs. And we found one. This bottle is quite a bit older. Whatever I did with it. Where, that's when you know it ain't no good. It's starting to crystallize, so I probably shouldn't have left this. This thing probably leaked air in there and ruined it. Ruined my chances. So, I'm cheating. I'm gonna use a CarPro applicator with CarPro applicator thingies and a pipette. And then my green 240 GSM coating removal towels. So we'll take and put these in here. I'm telling you, Crystal Serum Light is a darn dream to put on. I'm like incapable of doing this properly. Especially with gloves on. That's why I never wear gloves, because I'm just not good with them on. There we go. Got our applicator, got our product. CSL is okay. I mean, I just leave it, leave it sitting here. So I want to start my applicator here. Just kind of prime it a little bit with a lot more. But a lot of coatings you want to take and set it aside. But with this, I find it's not an issue. So I'm going to start. We're going to do all the paint first, and then I'm going to come back and do the trim. I'm going to start here and work my way out. I'm conditioned to coat cars this way. I know a lot of guys have moved on to using a microfiber applicator. I don't know. I feel like I have more control. I just like, I like doing it this way better. Maybe it's just out of habit. I understand guys that are coating in high volume may need a little bit quicker method, but for me, shoot, every time I've coated anything the last couple of years, you guys have seen it on camera, so, so I'll do half the hood, wipe it, and come back to the other half. This stuff is really forgiving. It can be wipe on, wipe off. G-Technic, the bottle says wipe on, wipe off the directions, but their training suggests that you give it a minute or two to, to bond, flash, whatever you want to call it. So the main reason to go over it twice is to make sure you get it level and you don't miss any spots. Gosh, I love this stuff. I think I said this before. I think I'm done with wax. So, now we're good. My favorite part, which is completely irrational and ridiculous with this coating, the reason why I like it so much, is because it's slick. In other coatings, as much as I love the look of Kamikaze, like ISM, yeah, this looks close, but it's way slicker because ISM is kind of grabby and we never get this same, that same rub the back of your hand across the surface feel. But I mean, look how easy that was. I mean, any idiot could do that. You know, you get the extra durability and depth you get from Ultra, Crystal Serum Ultra, their pro version. You get more depth with that, but this is just so darn slick and so easy to do. I don't see why the pros are outweighed by the cons of the uh, fancier coating. Now, CSL is not layerable. You won't need another layer anyway. So don't try to put more coats on. We're gonna put EXO, two coats of EXO as our topper, but we're gonna do that tomorrow morning. Give this a good 10, 12 hours to cure. You could probably do it much sooner. Uh, Billy was telling me from Presidential that if you do it too soon, 
I've always let it cure. If you do it too soon, it'll it comes off with the compound as well, but not very easy. If you go back and watch the Adam LZ correction video where I left a couple of high spots, I blame that on Billy. I say it's his fault. He was the one who was supervising me. That was right after I was done talking trash about how any idiot could apply any coating. And I went and messed it up. And it was a little bit more difficult to remove than you'd like it to be. So that's why it's important that you don't screw it up. And also notice with this, we're not like laying it on super thick. Like I'm not revisiting the bottle. We'll probably coat this entire car with that quarter of a bottle that I had left. more does not equal a thicker layer of protection. It's not the way it works. Doesn't work that way with wax. Doesn't work that way with the coating either. Man, this stuff is great. So there's my initial wipe towel, my follow-up. Now I wanna make sure that I come over and wipe adjacent areas, adjacent panels so that I don't push the coating around and end up with a high spot. You wanna follow with the light. Just keep an eye on your work, stay organized. Make sure you don't have any spots. The lighting in here is good enough that I don't find the need to have a separate spotlight. And uh, CSL comes off so easily that as long as I hit adjacent panels, adjacent areas, I find that I'm okay. There you go. That's our first layer. We're gonna go around and do the rest. I'll come back when it's time to do the trim, show you that, show you the glass. We're not gonna put CSL on the glass. We're gonna put Wolf's glass sealant on there. And hopefully, I just got an email from them. I think we're okay. I think they're gonna continue producing it even though I guess maybe Jesse or the original holdings company went out of business or sold it or did something with it. You know, their Facebook page went away and stuff, but I did. I am in contact with them. But I'm not really using the Wolf's trim on the trim stuff anymore. I'm using CSL. It just works. It works better, lasts longer than the Wolf's does. So that's the coating process. We're gonna do all the trim here. I've, I quit using many other kind of trim specific stuff and just gone with, you know, most of the paint coatings actually do really well on this type of porous black plastic and any kind of uh, rubber, you know, rubber areas, even like the wiper blade arms all this stuff try to try to avoid the glass if you can spreads nice and easily and then keeps this looking just nice and satin black forever and then we just wipe it flat and we're done so i'm going to do all the black plastic on the whole car including this rubber here which we probably already largely hit I may or may not have been taking a nap on the uh, microfiber there, so the stack of microfibers, so I don't know what they've done, but yeah, that looks great. So I'm just using the same applicator we use for the car, but you could get a new one if you wanted to. This one to be nice and even. If you find any spots that don't look even and level, just add a little bit more product and level it. I knew this paint would look insane when it was all done. We still got two coats of EXO to put on it. And then later, after the first wash, coat a bead maker. Should make it look pretty darn 
Pretty darn good. Here, hit this rubber. So, anything that's like this, black porous plastic, and to trim around the windows, we're gonna go and hit. And that'll keep it looking nice, bead water nicely, do all this around the mirrors, and then we'll do the glass. I'll come back and show you that in a minute. We'll also do stuff like this, headlights, tail lights, the whole, the whole nine. Good to go. All right, so I'm doing, you guys have seen me do this a thousand times. I'm doing wolves on the window. I just cut off a little piece of microfiber towel, make little circles. I'll do two coats on the windshield, one coat on the rest. Good to go. Piece of cake. We'll put some uh, 303 on the soft top. We'll probably deal with the wheels tomorrow. I'm running out of time here. All right, glass is done. I'm gonna do one more coat on the window here, windshield, and then I'm good to go on the exterior until tomorrow when we'll do XOV4. All right, it's morning, day two. Uh, Bryce has already gotten here, uh, started working on. He just showed you deconning wheels. So he's deconning those, so we'll be able to uh, get those set up for, uh, for coating. So we're gonna do the same crystal serum light, exo combo on the wheels, same thing on the calipers. Uh, we'll see on the calipers. I mean, technically C5 is better for heat, but I don't know. I think we're gonna be fine with CSL. So. Another good positive thing is I've been running the jet filtration system for the last day and a half straight, and uh, I have noticed a remarkable difference. There was no dust on the car, uh, where normally after polishing, uh, was, and then just cardboard dust and stuff like that in here, we normally have pretty uh, a pretty dusty environment. Not really dusty, but reasonably dusty. And I always notice on my black desk over here, uh, notice you know, lots of dust. So. What I'm gonna do now while Bryce is working on deconning the rest of the wheels, I'm gonna get a coat of EXO on the car. That way we can give it you know, three, four hours and then put the second coat of EXO on it. Uh, so I'm gonna start working on that project right now. Okay, EXO V4. We're gonna apply in the same fashion. These are brand new towels, so I threw away the other, the other towels. So uh, we don't want to end up with any kind of crystallization. I, I find that it's kind of overkill to throw away the towels, but why take the risk? I mean, these are like 90 cents a piece. I like really low pile towels for any kind of coating removal. It's just my preferred preferred method. I know a lot of guys like to use a uh, they like to use a plusher towel, but I think this is the way to go. So XO, same application process. Again, you could use a microfiber block. I like to use the little CarPro app applicator pads, little suede applicators. So you can do it either way, but this is the way that I like to do it. A little more expensive to do it this way because we use a couple more of these, but let me get a fresh one here. So now XO, you don't, I don't think you have to wait for CSL to cure. And I haven't noticed this, but uh, you know my, my buddy Billy, who has a lot more experience with this stuff than I do, he's been doing G-Technic coatings on probably three or four cars a week for several years now. Um, he said that you know at times you could end up with if you do if you do EXO too soon, you can end up with cloudiness. So you want to give CSL time to cure if you can help it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to listen to Billy. So we let it sit for, what, 16 hours or so. So I'm gonna take this stopper thing out of here. Actually, you know what? I don't mind this thing at all. We're just gonna do this. 
So this is, I find this could be quite a bit thicker. It goes on thicker than, uh, than our uh, CSL does. And this is certainly a little bit more difficult to work with. Now, we're not going to experience as much of the negative effects because we have a climate controlled, humidity controlled, dust controlled environment. But you can do large sections with this. This has a much stronger odor. But the idea here is that we're adding some longevity. You could do CSL and leave it alone by itself. But this, to me, adds the depth and of course becomes our sacrificial layer. A combo, I think, is just the way to go. So notice I'm able to do half of the hood with just this one application. Just one, you know, a few drops of product. So this one we're gonna do two layers of XO on the whole car. And by we, I mean I'm gonna do the hood and Bryce is gonna do the rest. You'll also notice that these will, this product will load up the towels quite a bit more. And you'll push this product around a lot more too. So you have to be careful with adjacent panels. You don't want to leave high spots behind. So we'll probably use six or seven towels in the application of this. And it's always good if you can grab a buddy and get two sets of eyes to follow and make sure you don't end up with high spots because we did end up with some on the other side of the car when I was taking a nap so we're not going to blame me for it. But Bryce ended up having to polish off half the side of the car because there were some CSL high spots. Just as I suspected, this, uh, this car was going to look insane when we got the coating all over it. Man, looks so good. So the paint on this car, I mean, we didn't really have to do much to it. There's a lot of solvent pop in it, like little pock marks. But other than that, it seems pretty good. The Mazda paint seems pretty decent. So I didn't notice any real negative effects. It's kind of, I wouldn't say it was soft, but I wouldn't say it was super hard. It just seems like normal, decent paint to me. I don't get too hung up on the whole soft, hard, bull crap. Who cares? I mean, just grab a polish and figure out what works the way I think about it. So I don't put the, you could put this on the trim, but I don't, I just leave the CSL on the trim and call it a day. So we're gonna do all the painted surfaces with XO here and we'll be done. Yeah, this stuff is strong, strong chemical scent. I would make sure that you have proper ventilation when you're putting this stuff on. It's certainly keep some gloves on. I wanted to do this on the headlights as well. So I just follow the procedure of wipe the wipe where I started first and then so you know by the time I get it applied you're pretty much ready to wipe it off and I could see how you know I'm just kind of pushing this around here but I could see how this could really be problematic if you were trying to do this outside when it was humid so even in a you know a non-climate control garage but still very doable I wouldn't worry about it too much. Worst case, just use more towels. Buy a couple, couple dozen of these towels that I'm using. I would highly suggest these 240 GSM green, I call them coating removal towels. So you'd probably, it'd probably be helpful maybe to have a third towel if you're doing this outside in humidity. And I just wanna make sure I'm hitting adjacent panels so I didn't push any product. We lose a little bit of the slickness of CSL, but it's still slick and nice. So that's the application process. We're going to go around and do the whole car, but that's our, uh, that's our coating set up there. So what I'll do, so we'll probably wrap this video up here, but what I'll do is, or what Bryce will do, we'll probably, you know, we'll probably let this sit overnight again and then in here, let this set up try to keep it out of the rain for a few days. And then when he does the first wash, say a week or two later, it doesn't have to be a week or two, but whenever, whenever you do the first wash, 
then he'll use bead maker as a, as a drying aid and then maintain that as a sacrificial layer uh, using bead maker as, as a drying aid. You could use C2V3, which also works well, uh, which is the G-Technic version drying aid, topper, but I like bead maker. So that combo of CSL, XO, bead maker would be your process for coating. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll uh, finish up the process with the wheels and the car will be done. One thing I forgot to mention, I didn't do this on the hood very well. Um, I don't know how much this has to be done, but the, the, the CSL naturally rejects EXO, not as much as, as uh, Ultra does, Crystal Serum Ultra, but you do need to uh, work the product in a bit more. You know, this is something Billy taught me. Uh, you can see it kind of rejecting the product or bubbling up. Um, so after you do the initial application, you should kind of work the product a little bit more and get it to level out. Uh, and so I've gone over it three or four times. So uh, I'd forgotten about that. I don't know how much that's necessary, but you know, it's, it's suggested that you do that uh, when you're doing an XO. So we're dealing with a convertible top here in between steps. I don't have a lint roller, so I'm just taking some tape. I'm just doing this just to get it. All the little pieces of whatever's on here. There's a little bit of polish residue. You know, we blew this off already, but there's like little fuzzies and things like that, probably from the wash mid and just this whole process. And so I've gone and cleaned the whole top. And we're gonna take some 303 marine whatever I'll show you the bottle in a second and we're gonna put that on and apply it all right so I've done the whole thing just cleaning it up so here's how I do this stuff so this is uh, 303 marine fabric guard so I've never used this one before but I would use a waffle weave and it says to uh, I don't care what it says this is how I do it And then work it in. And I'd probably do this once every few months, every every fifth wash or so. I grab a soft towel, wipe off my excess. Go. It smells like uh, sneaker stuff. Well, hopefully I'm not messing anything up because I'm getting overspray all over the place. Dang, that looks good. There's our convertible top procedure. I always get questions about that. Just use some 303, call it a day. Now we're gonna have to go and clean our windows. Yeah. And for this marine stuff, if you want to get the full you know, power out of it, let it cure for like 12, or six to 12 hours. Before we get it wet. Yeah, and if you can pull it out into the sun after you apply it, that's even better. Yeah, that's good. I like that. So we'll have to clean the windows now. I almost don't want to touch this black. I'm gonna get a pluffle. There we go. Good to go. I would do one last window cleaning after we're done. Top 
clean. Protected. You could probably soak it more, but I don't think you need to. I think that's all you need. 